Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are on the new series Learn ServiceNow Scripting from Zero till Advanced and we are on the client side part. So we left on the last session which we had in the last video what we have seen what is client script. If you are very new to this video you can go and check that video from the i button on the top and you can even find the link in the description below. And if you are very new to the video do subscribe and like the content because the content will be so helpful for you to succeed in ServiceNow career. So let's go back. So we are over here. In the last class we have seen client script, table name, UI action, UI type and the type we have selected on load. But if you notice, if I select a type on load, for example, let me remove this. You will notice automatically a function is created over here. Now what is the meaning of function? why this is created. So basically the type on load means when you are trying to load your page and at that time some script will execute. For example, if I go to incident table, let's take an example. I'm opening the incident table like this. So first of all, this will give you the list view. And if I open that, click on new, it will give me the form view. Correct. Now the only thing here is, let me close all this tab. Only thing here is on load will always work on the form view. It will not work on the list view. If I open the list here on load will not work. Then what will work on the list view? We will see that. But before that, we have on load. On load means when the page is loaded. How you can load the page? Either you can go here and click on this reload button, or you can right click on the top and reload the form. Anything you can do it to reload the form. But my requirement is when the page is loaded, I want to do some action, do some changes so that from the script which we have written is apply only on on load. So on load means when the page is loaded, your script will be executing. So what script will be executing? Your client side. And how to write a script in client side? You have to write something between these functions. And what is this function? Function on load. Basically function means we have chunks of code, chunk of statements together in a single capsule. So let me explain another way. For example, let me go here and let's assume we have a class 10th, for example. And inside the class 10th, we have sections, section A, section B, section C. So inside this class 10th, section A, section B, section C, syllabus will be same. The student will be studying the same syllabus whether they are on section A, section B or section C. It means that these three are inside a packet, inside a capsule of class 10. So class 10 is a function and inside the function we have chunks of code. So function is a function contains chunks of statement, chunks of code. And what code it will have? They are the, that is called your client side code, which we will be writing right now. And the on load means when the page is loaded. So you have to remember this function on load means we have a chunk of code inside the loop and inside the function we have client side code. So whatever we write over here, whatever we write, whatever we write that will come under this function. So we are going to write it but let me start with so you have to only remember two things guys over here only two things g underscore form and if you ask me what is g underscore form very easy. I will explain in a very easy manner so that you will always remember this concept. What is G underscore form? So let me show you like this. Let me open the snipping tool. And uh, yep, I hope you can see this. So we have a word called G underscore form. In a layman, I am explaining you. And later I will explain you what is the exact definition. So G means, let me close this here. G means glide, form means form. And what do you mean by G form? Glide to the form on incident table. And what is the meaning of glide? For example, a kite is gliding in the sky. Means a kite is flying in the sky, moving in the sky, correct? So G underscore form means glide to the form on incident table. So if I glide to the form, if I move to the form on incident table, what we will see? We will see the form view. Obvious. 
and now we are inside the form and now we can do anything with the help of the methods which is provided by the client side so remember g underscore form means glide to the form on incident table and if i talk about service now what is this glide g underscore form basically it's called an application programming interface or as an api and what is api then api now what is this api so you might have heard about interfaces interface is nothing but a boundary let's say we are i am talking currently and you are listening to me so what is the boundary between us youtube without youtube will you be able to listen to me no so youtube here act as a interface where my voice is converted from my side and you are able to my voice is transmitted to your end and you are able to listen to that voice like your application uh, let's say whatsapp in whatsapp what we have we have an interface okay where we have whatsapp we have your interface and we we will type a message and it will it will go to the my our friend or our colleague or our family correct so this is called interface without whatsapp interface can be able to send this message no like in your uh, laptop you have your firewall those all are interfaces antivirus interfaces that will protect you from the virus attack similarly this g underscore form act as a bridge or act as a wall or act as a can say interface which allow you to go to the table incident without this interface you cannot go to the table incident once you don't go to the table incident then you will not be able to execute your code so that's what g underscore form means once you type g underscore form you can press a dot button and whatever the box is appearing in front of you this box is called intelligence or intellisense so it will give you that box inside the box you have list of things available i will talk about that so you have to press dot and you will get all the methods available over here and you have to choose according to your requirement which method you wanted to you can choose according to it so i hope you understand what is g underscore form now if you want to learn more about g underscore form see it it's become a hyperlink if i zoom and i show you let me zoom the screen now come down see it become a black hyperlink so what you have to do is press a control button from your keyboard and click it will take you to the service now developer page see you can, where you can learn about glide form what is this glide form api g form glide form and what we do from the client side we can do beautification we can do modification we can do we can make any field read only mandatory and visible with the help of client side so whatever we can do on the client side we can use the word called g underscore form so client side is basically used for the customization of the form customization can be you can provide a alert box on the top you can provide a confirm box on the top you can provide a, a mandatory read only visible on the form that's all we are going to see so let's start with very simple j underscore form dot first we'll see add just you type add you have lot of options now let's see third option add info message now what is this info message let me show you if you see here blue line is coming up on the top same blue line will be appear on your table which table obviously we have selected incident form so on the form view of our incident table it will display me now if you notice over here add info message the message should be in the form of a string and what is a string whatever you be put in the double quotes or single quotes is treated as a string for example ravi if i type ravi ravi in the quotes is called a string but if i type 1 2 3 is called a value similarly if i type 1 2 3 inside this double quote this has become a string so just go back here i will write gls code form dot add message and here right here i'll type hi this is my first client script very simple so save it now you can save the form from this floppy disk button over here kind of a floppy disk or right click and save any of the way you can save it so this part let's see how it work so when the page will load 
on the incident table on the form view then this message will appear so let's go back and check i am reloading the page and you will notice i will be receiving a blue line with a box called hi this is my first client and you can see this is called add info message so whenever you see a message box on the top with a blue strip this is called your info message but if you see a red strip that is called an error message very simple just do the same stuff g underscore form dot add error message simple same thing hi i am error save it and go back and refresh the page you will get two boxes two strips blue and red hi i am error and hi i am first clients so you can notice if you see error message it will show you in red and if you see info message it will show you on the blue line so this is called g underscore form and you can do lot of things from g underscore form so let me create our first scenario based question on the client side on onload so the first question is let me wrote it down for you let me create the question. So the question is, when the page is loaded, I want to make some field as, let's say description field as a mandatory and I want alert box on the top. So how to fulfill this? For example, as a end user, when I load the incident fair, I should see description field as mandatory and alert box with welcome message. Now what is alert box? We have not talked about it but definitely we are going to talk in this particular scenario. This is our first scenario and I will be putting this scenario in our in my description box where you can copy the scenario you can use for your interview practice so let's go back let me remove this so obviously we are going to select on load table incident done and in the description you can mention you what you are going to do as a best practice so always remember you have to mention something on the description so that a people will understand what your code is doing so you can copy the same thing and paste it over here you can paste it yeah now not, you can put paste in the message also your wish here I am going to type when the page is loaded I want an alert box so remember guys to get alert box there is a command called alert once you type alert inside the alert you have to type the message in the form of a string so here you have to type form of a string and what is a string anything in double quotes is called a string so welcome message he asks so welcome to incident table and i have 110 percent sure guys you you have seen alert box somewhere in your career for sure and how this alert box look like a pop-up will be displayed for example maybe when you have done some payment with amazon or flipkart or some third party you might have seen the pop-up please don't close the form the premium is being processed. Some pop-up is coming from the top, correct? Now, there they have used React.js or Node.js. They have written some line of a code to achieve this. But here only we will write alert. And inside the bracket, welcome to incident table. It will display me the result in front of my screen. Now, you will see at the end, if something is missing, it will give me missing semicolon. You can see here. So, I have to mention missing semicolon. Now, whatever I am writing in this double forward slash, double backward slash, that will be treated as a comment so i'm commenting it it will not be used for scripting so how to comment it just type type backslash two times now if you don't want to use this just click here toggle comment so it will comment the entire uh, script so this is used to comment anything now i am doing control z fine now the second was when the page is loaded I should see alert box and let's make this field mandatory so how we can do main thing mandatory so we have to use g underscore form as I mentioned g underscore form will take me to the form only then only we will be able to do something now what we can do we can do dot what we have to do we have to make this field mandatory so we have to set this field 
too mandatory. So always remember, you ha you can only set the value or get the value, or from the form. Set value means you can set it as a mandatory, you can set it as a read only, visible, like you WhatsApp. Either you can send the message or you can receive the message. Correct? Message can be of any form. Your text, your image, your uh, payment, anything, document. These are called messages only. The types are different. Correct? Similarly, you can able you will only be able to receive the message. Whether message can be of any form. Here we will use g underscore form dot set. Once you type set, you will get this option called set mandatory, set read only, set section display, set value, set visible. All these options are available. So what we have to choose? Set mandatory. And you can read this. Make field required if true. Make field optional if false. Means if you want to make any field mandatory, you have to mention that, okay, I have to make this description for mandatory to true. So just press enter button and you will see it is asking you which field to make it mandatory and what should be the value of it. So value is bool. Bool means boolean. And what is boolean? If somebody is very new, I'm not sure whether you know about boolean or not, but boolean machine will always understand a binary language which is in the form of 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, whatever. Only 0 and 1. So all the languages will be converted into machine language for sure. Now, 0 is treated as false, 1 is treated as true. So, I am hoping that you guys might have studied this in class 9th or 8th, where we had a service, not service now, sorry, uh, electronics, where we see about AND gate, OR gate, if you might remember. So let me show you, before I come back here, AND gate, logic gate, if you remember. Now, if you see the logic gate, let me copy. Take one image, for example, yeah, and A, B, and the output. So, what is this A and B? You can see A, B is represented as a boolean. 0, 0, 0 means false, 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 true, false, true, false, false, true, true, true. It operated on dot, means multiplication. Obviously, only one condition will be true, then the next condition will be true. So, this entire 0, 0, 1 is called boolean. So, boolean is treated as Boolean is true or false means 1 or 0. 1 is for true, 0 is to false. Come back. So which field I want to make it mandatory? So I have to choose the field description. And now I cannot copy and paste it like this. No, it's not a best practice. We should always get the backend name. So I am hoping that you know what is backend name. Backend name is nothing but the name of the description field which was used while creating the table. So description is a front end name that is called a label. If I right click, I will get the back end name a small description. So if I type capital description, it won't work. But if I type small description, it will work. So what I have to use over here is in the quotes description, comma true. Obviously, I want to make this field mandatory, so I'm making it true. So just save it and see on the front end how it look like. Refresh the page. Now you will notice alert box will be coming up with a welcome box saying that welcome to incident table. And if I click on OK, description will become mandatory. So I hope you guys are clear on this particular part. G underscore form set mandatory alert box. So that's all for today. And I will be giving you more scenario in the next session when we meet. So, if you are very new to the session, you can watch the previous video where I have discussed about the client side and server side. Even if you are very new to service now, you can check the series service now admin in Hindi and English where you can get the inside of service now and you can follow that. Then you can come back and follow this scripting class because we are going to see a lot of scenarios in service now. So, that's all for today.